this is uh, the Falco Force uh, Vintage. It's a 35 pound 66 inch longbow. It is technically, of course, an American flatbow, uh, although um, under World Archery rules and uh, IFAA, uh, this is considered a, a longbow. I, um, I decided to switch to flatbow uh, after my first year using a recurve. So I've been shooting only for two years. Uh, my wife and I um, attended an introductory course here at my club in Madrid, the Arqueros de Madrid, the Madrid Archers Club, which is a fantastic 3D club that we have. Um, so I would like to uh, tell you about the bow itself and then perhaps uh, test it, uh, shoot, uh, shoot some arrows and talk about the, uh, its performance and the feeling and the feedback that you get from this bow. Anyway, so let's talk about the bow itself. This is technically, as I said, this is a, an American flat bow. Um, the, it's uh, the Falco Force, um, the Falco Force uh, Vintage. They typically carry some letters here, uh, so it's, I think it's uh, like Falco Vintage or something like that. But I, this is a custom built bow and I didn't want those letters here printed uh, because I was planning to do some uh, reenactment with this bow and you know, anything like that would basically spoil the, uh, that, uh, you know, everything. So, um, I did ask for a uh, dark coco bolo for the riser, um, bubinga wood for the uh, limbs, um, cut to center, which is uh, World Archery and IFFA uh, legal. Of course, it's using um, a fast flight string, high performance string. I think it weighs uh, between 1.5 uh, kilos and 2, two kilos, so that would be you know, between 3 and 4 pounds. It it's, uh, has a nice intermediate weight that you, you feel it but it's not like your 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 arm and hand are going to drop when you, you take it I don't really like those type of bows I don't know I feel I'm going to become like a tired um, uh, high pistol grip I like those uh, pistol grips I also have you know more standard or low pistol grips for my other other bows but uh, I really liked it, so I, I asked for it to sim Thalma, the, you know, the boya. And um, 35 pounds. Now, 35 pounds might look like not very much, but this really performs. This has a reinforced uh, carbon layer. It's a laminated bow, of course, and it has that. And I don't know, it's the 66 inches, it's perhaps the design with a little, little, very little uh, deflex reflex uh, profile that makes uh, this 35 pound bow um, very, very quick and accurate too. So let's talk a bit about the, the bow, um, how it performs when you draw it. So, no matter if you do this or you or you anchor, when you go past your anchor point, you can feel the bow is very stable. Not only it's very stable, but it has a very smooth draw. You don't um, detect any sort of stacking at all. Also, uh, after the after the shot, you get a very nice feedback to the bow arm. You know, it's not hand shock at all. Perhaps it's just you know, minimum hand shock. I wouldn't call that hand shot, but you get feedback. You get some. Uh, there, there's some personality to the to the bow. Um, the bow is saying, "I've shot an arrow," <laughs> uh, and he's like, "Yeah, I know you shot an arrow because it actually came through my whole body. You know, a nice vibration. But it, the, the the kind of vibration that you can enjoy. Uh, several months ago, I had some uh, problems with my grip." And uh, you know, some uh, coach uh, here told me to try the finger sling, and I did, and actually it worked because I think it, I had some psychological uh, problem, and the finger sling um, helped me a lot to solve that. But during that period of time, I was you know simply pushing the bow like this, and the finger sling would prevent the bow from dropping, 
but I, I missed, you know, I started to, I didn't have any feedback anymore. I would just feel the bow pressed against my hand, and after the arrow left my bow, I would simply be there to collect the bow, but no feedback. I would not recommend that to anyone that really wants to feel a uh, uh, nice feedback in the bow. And this bow has very nice feedback. You enjoy both, you know, drawing it, releasing the arrow, seeing the arrow fly, and the feedback from the bow when you, when you shoot an arrow. Um, bow is, is forgiving. It's, um, it actually behaves as, uh, let's say, uh, soft coach uh, for you. It is, it is going to tell you if any major uh, errors were uh, made during your technique, especially uh, during the release, as always, any ball will uh, be less forgiving uh, towards the release, towards the bad release. But it is not as if the bow is constantly reminding you of a bad technique. It will allow for some errors. And in that way, it's encouraging, you know, encouraging you to uh, improve little by little. It will be, yeah, like that coach that will tell you, that was okay, that was a good shot. It was not perfect, but it was okay. And it will tell you the major, the uh, primary concern that there is on your technique, the major mistake. But any minor thing, he or she will probably uh, not be concerned about. The same with his bow. This bow will tell you if the release went wrong and more or less it will tell you how it went wrong because you, you, after some time you actually understand the, the bow's uh, results and you quickly can trace back the results to your technique errors. Uh, in terms of the accuracy, this is a very accurate bow. If you have the right arrows, and I've, I've been testing this bow with Caro and arrows, so that there is only one degree of freedom, that is the bow, because the Caro and arrows are always, you know, like the same and perfect and non-natural, non or whatever you want to call them. And this bow is, it could basically compete in, in recurve conservation, no problem. It is very accurate. The moment you introduce uh, wooden arrows, then everything changes, of course because the, the wood has its wood, okay, so uh, you will get different results. But if you get really good arrows, wooden arrows, you will enjoy uh, a lot how accurate this bow is. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, shoot some arrows. to uh, wait a little bit more now so you can see the, uh, the bow's uh, profile when uh, full draw. Again, then I'm going to actually kneel down so you can see that uh, for its uh, 66 inches, it is uh, great for uh, a kind of uh, shot too. Shooting here at my um, local club in Madrid, the Arqueros de Madrid, the Madrid Archers. I also know uh, a few other clubs, 3D clubs in uh, the Madrid area. Uh, one in particular I like it uh, a lot, uh, Bastion de Lanos in the in Escorial. I think we are quite fortunate to have so many uh, 3D clubs uh, here in you know, the in Madrid area. Uh, I think probably a dozen. So that, that's, that's really good. But I tend to come here because it's uh, uh, you know, half an hour from home uh, by car. And it 
it's uh, it's, it's quite big and really it was easy for me to find this uh, spot where nobody will actually come. So uh, yeah. so let's try now this other style of shooting, which I like a lot when the targets are really low in. You see I'm not canting the bow, I don't do that. I do prefer to be uh, somehow straight. I, um, I can the bow with the, the Ming style bow, but I tend to not can the bow. I don't need it. It's not really like this is getting into the way. It's just on my peripheral uh, field of view, of course. But, uh, I prefer to have as few degrees of freedom as possible and you know doing this with, with your uh, body I don't know I fear my concern is that I could be uh, could be uh, losing some of the consistency uh, that a straight body gives me Yes, a nice lamination, a nice finish. The uh, the wood really shines uh, when there's sun, which we get a lot here in, in Spain and particularly in Madrid. Uh, so you really enjoy, you know, the wonderful colors and and shades and everything. You know, the uh, bubinga and the uh, coco bolo here, really nice uh, piece of wood that uh, the Falco people will choose for you. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, I do have uh, a blog on traditional archery. Unfortunately, for some of you, it's 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 in Spanish. So, uh, but I don't know. Perhaps Google Translator will um, will do a decent job. I will put the link anyway, just in case. All right.